right, this is a Volvo Penta U joint. And basically, I was trying to just beat these out with the hammer. But doing some more research, there's some clips. And these clips are behind here. So I'm lucky I didn't damage that. But I'm uh, going to have to get these clips out, and then we should be able to hammer them once those clips are removed. Okay, that's a pretty big mess. The secret, again, was taking these out. They clipped on there. And you have to get those out. Just take a screwdriver get it down underneath basically you had to get the screwdriver down underneath the back side and just drive it out with a hammer this a screwdriver has got a hammer on it so you could get those clips get those clips out of there the other hard part was driving these out because they don't fit now when you put them back in you can just tap them in from the outside but driving them out Driving the other end back out so you could get this out was really kind of hard because there's not a lot of room in there. But basically, you got your two U-joints. Now, they said to take this apart to get this out of here. But once I got that loose, then that was pretty easy to uh, drive them out. And I would had beat on them super hard with a sledgehammer while the clips were in there. Now, I was hammering really hard but with them clips it just wasn't going to come out but once you get them clips out of there they drove out real easy wasn't any big deal so hopefully there's no real damage just get these uh u joints i think they're about 15 bucks a piece so for 30 bucks we'll have this back in there i ordered the bellows and i will uh show you a video putting all that back together the bellows mounting this back on here when somebody took this off, there was a shim in the bottom, and they had pinched it in there. So it was hard as hell to get this up. I had to hammer on it with a board. I just took a board right there on both sides and kept hammering it. And then I kept hammering back here. I got that board right there because you have to drive this up off of here. And you see the corrosion, it was stuck to it. So it was pretty hard to get off. So I need to get the one shim. And I got the bellows ordered. And I'll get this all back together. And I'll show you a video putting some of that back together. Okay. When you take this out, this surface is sitting on top of these shims. And what happened is when I took this one out, maybe why it was so hard to get out, somebody had sat this in here wrong and dropped that in and tightened it down with it in there crooked so when I took it out it was chewed up so basically what you got to do is measure the thickness of this and I've measured it with a uh, caliper you can get these at Harbor Freight for about 15 20 bucks when they're on sale I think they're like $15 and basically you just set it on millimeter and you zero it out and you open up the caliper and you put that in there and measure it and this one is 0 0.05 and they sell these this is a five dollar uh, about a six dollar and fifty cent shim but they're real particular saying that these have to be perfect so we want to put that one back in properly and then uh, I've got that ordered I got the bellows ordered and then we're on to these u-joints which when I took them out were covered in rust because the bellows have failed and I took the boat out uh, three or four times, took it out once, twice last year, and uh, in the water several times. So this was working in the water, and they were actually in pretty good shape. But since I had this all apart, I wanted to replace it. And in that first video, you see that they got to have these clips. Well, I did some research, and they were 315 G which I believe is for the grease cert. But I found these at uh, AutoZone. And let's see what size these are. 
I probably need to get switch this to inches. So we switch this to inches, and that's if you can see that that's three seventeen, and that's what these measure at three twelve, and these are three fifteen G. Now this is one that's been uh, been beat on with a hammer, so that's a little bit out of spec. 312, so they're going to try to sell you a 315. Now that's a 313, so that's pretty close of the thickness of that. The other thing is the thickness of these ends, which is one inch, 1.07, and this is 1.07, so they're exactly the same. The thing that I, even though I calibrated those, if I stood them on top of each other, they are marginally a little bit bigger. But I think it's going to be okay. And you're just going to put these clips in there. I uh, have to be real patient putting those back into these things and putting it back into this piece. So I'm going to build this first, and then I only got to put this one in last. So I'm not trying to hammer on this thing too much. I was didn't realize these had the spring clips. And uh, I was beating on this thing with a hammer, sledgehammer. And I hope that thing's not too far out of round, but it definitely couldn't have been good for it. And I definitely could have broke that. So hopefully people that are looking at this can learn from my mistakes and realize you have to take out these clips to uh, get a little screwdriver, get those out of there first, and then you can hammer. You actually have to hammer that one out, then hammer that one back out to get that out, and then hammer the piece in. They're pretty hard to get out. And I'm kind of worried about hammering them back in there so I don't ruin them. Uh, the AutoZone part number that I ended up, and this doesn't have any reference to anything that I can think of, is the 6301 DG and mine did not have grease certs and these at AutoZone did not have grease certs either. They're pre-greased. These are 19 bucks a piece. They're pretty expensive but uh, I kind of like these because I didn't want to have to use a grease cert and grease anything because they're going to be in there where you can't grease them anyway. So you just uh, put them in one time use. Hopefully they'll last a couple years and uh, I'm going to start See if I can get them in there, maybe show a video of them installed. Okay, now to get these in here, you have to take those end caps off and get these started. Slide them in there. And then you can put those on through the outside, the caps, and squeeze them in there. And then put those clips on there, but you're going to have to take those off. And uh, I'm not sure, I was thinking about putting anti seize on these before I slid them in there so they would stay lubed up for a very long time and not be rusty. When I, If they get wet maybe that anti-seize will stay on there. So I'm going to coat these with anti-seize and then before I press them on there I'll probably coat these uh, ends with anti-seize and then just slide them in. Okay basically what I did is just held this I held this in my hand and took the hammer and it's only got one end on and hammer that in to just pass where this thing clip will fit on there because you don't want to go any farther than that because you don't want that thing pressed you don't want that thing in there too tight you want them to be just perfect and right there where those lock in is just about perfect so I want to put this clip on and then I'll move to driving the other side in All right, this is a picture of this thing back together. When I was putting it back together, I was just kind of in a hurry to get it back together, so I didn't videotape it. But basically, you got to remove these bolts. This cover's got one screw in it. Take that off. And your cables in here, you got to take that off because there's a shift mechanism that's inside here. So you got to undo the pin, anyways. And that's. Uh, Another reason I changed out this cable 
it had gotten bad, so I'd put a new cable in there. And the bellows got a couple uh, bands in here. You take them off, and uh, that's where I was having problems. You're gonna have to lower. Right now, I got it in the up position, but this would be in the down position. So you could hammer, and I had to hammer right there really hard, and I hammered back here really hard to drive this thing up and drive these screws up out of here. And then uh, basically that's about it. So I just wanted to show you that thing back together.